lead time. I'm talking about like stuff like this, guys. Like this order today is the 25th. Look, this order is placed today and it probably will ship tomorrow or the day after. YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QPO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today's Tuesday, normal day in the shop, but if you're not new here, you know that Tuesday means Candles ice cream. We'll be right back. And now we're back. And this little guy. What do you got, Whammo? Doesn't even eat the food anymore, just the ice cream. Anyway, like I said before, regular Tuesday in the shop, getting stuff done, shipped out. Um, our lead time has actually come down quite a bit. Um, because we have some people in the shop, it makes it easier to get stuff cranked out. Uh, this stuff right here, getting shipped out. Got some new stuff in from Wiseman Company. All of this will get assembled. Stuff skis can cut finished, assembly. So yeah, lots of stuff getting done. I do want to show you something that I got in the mail. Check this out. It's that new SRO from Trijicon. Actually, take a look at this B-roll I just did. Um, posted it up on Instagram, but it's kind of showing the Delta Point Pro, the RMR, and the new SRO. Um, working with our more discreet holster to show the RMR cut. Looks like it's good to go on the P10. Fits everything nice and flush. That's what we have going on, so I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? It is now Wednesday. Uh, we're finishing the shop. Forgot the GoPro, but Gabe, Guy, they're here with me. They're helping me come film a video. Um, definitely, it's gonna be a cool video that I think a lot of people wanna check out. We're gonna be testing the speeds with your draw between a duty-style retention holster, like a level two holster from Safari Land, and your standard you know, OWB Kydex holster with no retention devices other than just the adjustable retention in the holster. So we're gonna film that video. Um, this video will probably be up before that one, but today was a good day in the shop. Got a bunch of stuff done. Uh, lead time is coming down. Uh, I'll try to explain more about that later. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, some of the custom stuff is shipping out in like one or two weeks, but it's because we have dedicated CNC molds. So these guys can get that stuff done in the shop. And since it's summer break, they're here working full time every day. So I've had full time staff for about a month and a half, which has cut our lead time down significantly. Um, the other stuff that we have to more manually do, I guess, with like uh, mocking up and taping and building jigs for, and then pressing with foam, that stuff takes longer because we have to break it all down and build it back up because I only have three or four molds for each weapon setup, and each weapon setup has like three or four different lights. Then you have right-handed, left-handed, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but yeah, I'll get more into that later. We're gonna head to the range and get this, this video shoot going. So we'll probably see you tomorrow. What's up guys, it is now Thursday. Uh, just finished up in the shop. I'm actually getting ready to head to the gym. Lots of stuff getting shipped out. Lots of stuff getting prepped. Craziness. Uh, I was talking about lead time. I'm talking about like stuff like this, guys. Like this order today is the 25th. Look, this order is placed today and it probably will ship tomorrow or the day after. Um, on the vacuum side of things, we are way, way caught up and that is because we have three guys dedicated to doing all of that. The custom stuff, which we have to mock up and foam press, like when you guys have an HK VP9 with an Enforce APL Gen 3. There's no molds that are dedicated made for that, so we have to create it. That's what takes a longer uh, period of time. Um, luckily, that time is honestly around four weeks. We're about a month out on the foam stuff. Um, I dropped a few thousand dollars yesterday on some more dedicated molds for some other stuff uh, that's newly come to market, which will help us get more caught up. Um, I'd love to get our lead time down where you guys have full on custom stuff in like two weeks. That would be great. I don't ever see the lead time coming below four to six weeks just so that we have a little bit of time and leeway if we need to take a trip or go do some training or stuff like that. But um, good day in the shop. I have uh, a new cool gun that I'm going to go film some content on. Uh, my buddy Adam, you guys know him as Pew Pew and Grill on Instagram. He let me borrow it. Um, I just put it away. 
but I'll show you these cool pictures I just took of it now. Definitely excited to shoot that. Um, kind of been on 9-11 kick as you guys have seen. I'm in the market for 2011. Uh, I really have my heart set on the four inch 2011 Commander 9 mil from Triarch Arms, or uh, Triarch Systems, sorry. Um, just love the way it looks. Want to get uh, it cut for an RMR, have an SRO on it. Anyway, um, that's all we have going on this week. I'm actually going to head to the gym now and end this vlog here. As always, appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. If you are new here, please consider subscribing as we post several videos throughout the week. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.